Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps. First and foremost, thank you all of you for your well wishes of feel better soon. I do feel better. I haven't kicked whatever this is, but I am feeling better. So I thank all of you. So I have some holiday tags to share with you guys using the stamp die combo by Stamps of Life. It's called Santa to Stamp. I'm a club member and so every month I receive the die and the stamp and I think this one came in September but it should be available on their website. I'm going to show you images of this Santa colored out. This is a this is a cute Santa. This is one of the cutest ones I've seen and if you like to color this is a nice image to color as well. So I have some images to show you but I also have some paper pieced Santas to show you. Now, if you like to paper piece and you need a Santa Claus die, this is a nice one to get. You get all of these dies here and it's so fun to color and to paper so piece. I try not to think. I have a new motto for myself. Don't think, just create. And sometimes I forget that motto and I think too much. <laughs> And so when you're paper piecing, let me offer you a tip. Many of you might do this anyway, but what I started off doing was I would cut my paper down to let's say the size of this die here and then a different piece of paper for this size die and then a different piece of paper for this size die. And I thought, you know what? That is too much work. What I ended up doing was I took, let's say a five by five or six by six inch paper and then I just die cut out all the images at one time out of different colors of patterned and solid card stocks and then I got together well I got all those images together and then I just begin to paper piece that was so much easier than trying to cut down paper for each particular die so these are the paper pieced images that I came up with and I have all of my Christmas things boxed in the garage. And so for the pom-pom, I used a mulberry flower in its place. And I like how that turned out. And I like how this die has this little squiggly image there. I, I like that. Now you'll see on this one, the nose, I used the nose from the die. But on my other images, I've used something else. So that's... A gold one and you could see I use different types of pattern paper and here's another one on this one I added gem eyes you see here I didn't add any eyes on this one I did and then I used a sequin for the nose because I had lost a lot of my little noses because I didn't know what they were <laughs> and then when I realized it well I didn't want to go back and die cut out more images and so I just grab my sequins and here's another one and I used a button here in place of a pom-pom and I'm loving that giggum yes I am okay here is another one here and my faces might be off-centered but that's okay he's a quirky Santa head <laughs> or he can be and then I use pop dots on some of my hats and on the beard. Alrighty, so here's another one. More gigum. Ever seen a gigum cloth? So cute. And this is a cute one. I added tacky glue and some of this mica flake glitter. Michaels might have this. I got that several years back. It's by Martha Stewart. Okay, another one. Towards the end, I'm like, I don't know which patterns to use for the beard, for the face, whatever. And I just said, forget it. I just put together whatever. So you see, I have another button there and his beard, I sliced off part of that. I didn't feel like going back to die cut it again. You know what, but it works. I'm gonna show you this one. <laughs> Once again, I just threw together whatever. <laughs> but my favorite of the paper pieced Santa heads is this one right here. My airmail Santa. 
Now he is too legit to quit. <laughs> and I gave him gym eyes. Okay, so let me show you some coloring. It's really basic, you guys, but I'm so into coloring. <laughs> it's so therapeutic. So I used my alcohol markers. And I was playing around with a particular shade. My turquoises and aqua colors. And so primarily, those are the colors you see here. I wanted to get an idea of how the colors looked. So these are all of my Santas that I colored out. And I used my brother's scanning cut to cut these out. And there you have it. I didn't know what to do with the beard. I didn't want white, but I wanted something soft. So I haven't figured that out yet. So I may go back in and color in the beards. But do you see the glitter here, here, and on the nose? And the little wiggly areas right there. The squirrely areas. Well, I thank you guys for watching. And if you're interested in this dye stamp combo, head over to Stamps of Life. Well, thank you guys. And as always, blessings.